Okay, this is a very good example. Here we have a reciprocal function, the numerator, and uh, there's a quotient, right? And let's try to find limit of this function as x approaches minus 1. So if we plug in minus 1 here, we get 0 in the denominator. And if we plug in here, we get minus 1 plus 2 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get 0 over 0. So whenever we get 0 over 0, then we need to apply a few techniques. One of them is to simplify uh, and uh, write uh, the function in simplest form. The second is factoring, and the third which you learn is the rationalization. Right? Here we can solve by simplifying, and here is how we simplify it. So we have this function limit x approaches minus 1 and in the numerator we can have common denominator of x plus 2 right that means this is can be multiplied by x plus 2 we have common denominator of x plus 2 and this gets multiplied by x plus so we get x plus 2 minus 1 and the denominator with us is x plus 1 correct now this could be written as limit x approaches minus 1 here this factor comes in the denominator and in the numerator we have x plus 2 minus 1 which is x minus x plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 and this factor comes in the denominator so we have x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now you see x plus 1 and x plus 1 is common in numerator and denominator so it can be cancelled out. So that's kind of simplification and we can write this as limit x approaches minus 1 and we get 1 over x plus 2. Correct? Now here we can substitute minus 1 and get our answer. So if we do that we get minus 1 plus 2 which is 1. So limit of this function as x approaches minus 1 is 1. Okay, So if you have such reciprocal functions involved, it is good to simplify that expression, right? And once you simplify, then you will see that some common factors will get cancelled out and you will be in a position to substitute and get the answer. Okay, This is very important, right? Thank you.